talk about a new feature that's in Mark Edit, the uh, updated user interface for the start page. So you can see from the image here, um, the start page has changed from more of a linear list based to more of a graphics based. Um, when you first turn on the program, it'll start out with the uh, traditional elements that have been on the start menu for a while. You have, as the user, the opportunity to change what's on the start page. The only two elements fixed are Mark Tools and Mark Editor. These four elements here are fixable by the user. If you go down here, there's a new button that's called Set Preferences. This is a, a link to a button that's in the menu. You can also get to from Tools and Preferences. So we'll go ahead and click on Set Preferences, and it opens up the Preference window. This is a new tab. This is where you can set the default programs off the Start menu. I'm going to go ahead and reselect some here. So I'm going to go ahead and select some different ones. Um, there are 12 tools that are able to be selected. The um, Mark Join, Mark Split, Mark Records, the RDA Helper, in addition to the Validator, the Export, uh, Tab Export, um, the Call Number Generator, and the Batch Process Tools. So if I go ahead and I select some, um, I can see that I, I pick three, so those are what's been there. Um, I can go ahead and I can select up to four. If I select less than four, it'll only show what's been selected. So I went ahead and only selected three, so I'll go ahead and select one more. I'll go ahead and pick up the validator here. You can see it goes ahead and it shows all of them that are there. As you've seen, if you want to have a cleaner window, you can take away some of the items, and it'll only show the items that are selected. Um, the tool automatically links to the programs that are supposed to be run uh, and you have either both the text and the non-text. You also have the option to be able to change the text that shows up for the user so if I want this to say something different um, I can click on that and I can update the text so the text get up updated there. If I click OK you'll see it shows up in the user interface, then that's what will get used going forward. Um, if I want to go back to the default text, I can click on the preferences, the default text gets reloaded. So if I go ahead and grab it, it goes ahead and puts it back into uh, what the default text was before. So that's the new Mark Edit interface uh, and start menu. Hopefully this will uh, make it a little easier for people to get to the applications that they use, to, they use uh, quicker. Uh, maybe be able to customize market it so it works a little bit better for um, the specific purposes that they're using it for.